guys and welcome to my April project pan update. Number one, I only do an update in the middle of the month and then I have a finale at the end and then intro at the beginning. So anyway, this is the update. I'm really excited to update you. There hasn't been a lot of progress, but there's definitely been some progress. I'm really, really excited to share it with you. There are seven products in this project pan. The first one I'm going to start with is I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like, like when I took the picture, but right after I took that picture, it fell and broke and um, I had to repress it and I forgot to take another picture. So this is what the Ulta Splendor and Bronzer looks like now. It's kind of mixed up and it kind of creates instead of a pinky, pink and bronze, kind of a coral color now, which is odd. Um, and you can see that I've kind of hit pan over here. Um, I kind of repressed it this half, but I have been making quite a, quite a bit of progress and it blends really, really nicely. I just have to be careful because there are a few patches of like straight up like bronze. So I just kind of put it on my cheek and then I really heavily kind of blend it out. Um, but this has been a really nice thing and I'm excited to be using this up. Um, especially now when I can't distinguish between the blush and the bronzer. I've just kind of been putting it more where the blush goes, but a little bit where the bronze goes because it still does have that bronzy kind of glow to it, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, so. The next one is a lip gloss, and I'm going to try so hard the next week to use this up because I really wanted to use it up before my birthday. My birthday is this month, and I'm turning 25, and this just isn't a lip gloss that I want in my life. Um, I really like the lip gloss. It's just the packaging just kind of gets me. I just... I can't do it. Um, but this is the Lipalicious if the tiara fits. And you will see um, this is a pineapple kind of clear gloss. And it's really, really nice. It's what I have um, over a lipstick today. Um, and I really like it. But you will see in my makeup inventory and collection lip glosses. I have to split, a bit, split it up into two parts because it's going to be so long. And you'll see I just need to start working through lip glosses. And I thought... Because of the packaging, we're going to work through this. And I really like the lip gloss, so it's kind of a win-win situation where I can use up a gloss before it goes bad, but I don't have to deal with packaging anymore. So there's that. The next one is something I'm super, super excited about. I should have a before picture about right here. Um, and this is my picture right now, I'm s or my progress. That's all I have left in this. I am so excited. I've kind of cleared out everything until this side. I'm hoping and thinking this will be done as long as I use it consistently, which I have been um, by the end of the month. And I've actually, because that bronzer broke, a couple days I've kind of put it kind of where a bronzer would go to kind of create a shadow and really blended it in. Um, I did it today, and you can kind of see the shadow, but not... Um, that doesn't use hardly any of this, but I've been using it mainly as an eye base. So I'm really, really excited that this is almost gone. I'm so excited. You have no idea when this is. The next one is a highlighter, and it never rested. But this is the High Beam from Benefit. This is where it was, and I think we're about here. It might be a little bit lower. I did take off, take out the stopper because I was like stuck on this side. It's gotten better, but it was stuck on this side. And so I um, took out the stopper and it's been really helping me get quite a bit out of it. But it's just a little bit of a pinky highlighter. I put it down before I put on a powder highlighter because I don't notice this doing much. I definitely won't repurchase it when this is over. I don't like necessarily the liquid highlighters. I prefer a powder highlighter, I think. Um, so anyways. There's that. The next three things I put in my book to show you the progress. The first one is the e.l.f. Pink Lemonade um, All Over Color Stick. I use this for a base for that blush. And originally I thought it worked really well because it's a pinky blush. But when it broke, it became less pinky. Um, but this is what the pink lemonade is, so I have to be really, really careful with this. So I can't use it very often, or like very heavily handed, where I have to really sit there and blend it. But this is where I was at the beginning, and I'm about to that purple line now. So I have made some decent progress. There's a possibility it will be done um, this month. I don't know for sure, because the first um, little bit of this, I somehow had created like a dome in there, or not a dome, the opposite of a dome, a crater, and um, the crater's pretty much gone, so it's going to take a little bit longer, I feel like, to use it up, but we will see about that. 
The next one is a lipstick, which I didn't use as much as I thought I would. And I thought it'd be a little bit easier to use, but this stays on for such a long time. I'll go ahead and give you a swatch. So that's the lipstick. It stays on for such a long time. And I, and it is soft, but it just, I don't know. It just doesn't go down very easily, but it's not going down without a fight. That's for sure. This one is the progress on this. So this was the beginning of April and now we're about here. So, um, get it all over the paper because it is pretty soft, but it does not go down without a fight. So I made some progress. I still have quite a bit. I don't know if I'll finish it by the end of the month. I could probably if I was really consistent and I might be and I'm hoping to be, but we'll see. The next thing is something I definitely won't be done at the end of the month, but I've been enjoying putting in eyeliners just to see how long they take and to really motivate me to use them. So this is the Color Trend Dark Brown Eyeliner. As you can see, this is where we were on April 2nd. It's the 16th. Hasn't really moved. I'm not sure if you can build. Hasn't really moved, so, you know, I'm hoping eventually this will move. But um, I've been enjoying it. It's really a dark, kind of a brownie black which has been really nice, so it still frames my eyes, but not super, super harsh. So, yeah, that was my April Project Pan update. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're doing a Project Pan, whether it's a tan pan or just kind of like a monthly one. Um, I like doing the monthly ones because I like switching it up. Definitely subscribe so you know when the finale is, so you can see how much more progress I make in about the next two weeks. So, really excited, um, and I will talk to you later. Bye!